This video is going to be insanely short, but we figure it looks like a good hors d'oeuvre for Season 2, Part 2 of Invincible. Today's video is going to cover virtually the entire history of the insanely powerful cosmic being Omnipotus from the Invincible universe. Normally, this is the part where I say this video won't cover every single issue the character's been in, but it, it actually will, because Omnipotus is only in three comics. He's basically a throwaway character, but he looks cool and is absolutely cracked in terms of power, so today I bring you the complete history of Omnipotus. Omnipotus makes his first comic book appearance in Invincible issue 27, written by Robert Kirkman and drawn by Ryan Otley. This issue occurs during the events where Mark is summoned to the planet Thraxa to meet with his father to fend off a Viltrumite invasion on their planet. While that's happening, back on Earth without Mark or Omni-Man, Omnipotus, the World Shaper, arrives on the planet from another dimension. Omnipotus came to our dimension from his to drain it of energy. Omnipotus has drained the entire dimension that he came from of energy and was basically now losing power and therefore seeked an alternative dimension to invade in order to sustain himself. You can think of Omnipotus kind of like an interdimensional Galactus. Omnipotus boasts some pretty scary powers also, capable of rewriting reality on a whim to make our universe into his image, creating life where there was only death. He's, he's basically God. Well, a god you can punch. Now, it's clear that Omnipotus hasn't reached his final form because he tells us that, but that doesn't stop him from absolutely shit stomping everybody in the Guardians of the Globe. The Guardians are effectively keeping him busy while Robot and Tech Jacket, a very cool character you'll never see because Amazon doesn't own the licensing rights, creates a device capable of opening a wormhole back to the dimension Omnipotus came from using something called a warp key. A lot of this stuff is kind of tongue-in-cheek references to Fantastic Four and Galactus. Okay, so, simple plan. Open the portal, push the bad guy in, Guardians win, right? Kinda difficult considering none of the Guardians can physically harm Omnipotus. That's when our boy Black Samson comes back to the battlefield. Black Samson had been in a coma for months following a savage beating at the hands of Battle Beast earlier in the series. He was believed to be brain dead and comatose, but here he is, looking thick as hell, jacked and glowing. Samson pushes Omnipotus into the portal, sending him back to the dimension he came from, and crushes the warp key closing the portal, ending the Omnipotus threat forever. Just kidding, a few issues later, in issue number 33, Omnipotus is shown as one of the beings Mark is forced to fight when he's being hurled through multiple dimensions by Angstrom Levy in their first major showdown. He's only in one panel, but Mark seems to be getting his ass beat by him, and hey, look, is that Batman? In another dimension? That's neat. Now, we don't see Omnipotus again all the way until issue number 87, when he claims that he had found a way back to our dimension and had been secretly living on Earth for months, draining the planet of energy to regain his power and is now fully energized. Given out real perfect cell energy. Omnipotus had laid out basically every hero he came across, including Bulletproof, Brit, Monster Girl, Duplicate, Robot, and many others. Invincible, who has drastically grown in strength by this point, as well as Dinosaurus, a character we haven't met in the show, arrived to battle the interdimensional god. And the battle is very short-lived as Dinosaurus bites off his head, causing a massive explosion, killing Omnipotus. His death is pretty abrupt, but it definitely helps show just how powerful Mark and Dinosaurus are by the end of the series. Rest in peace to Omnipotus. The guy just wanted a little snacky snack. And that is about it for this short video. The character is pretty cool, and I hope you guys learned a lot. And if you did, consider liking and subscribing and hitting the bell and doing all that other crap that YouTubers ask you to do. This has been Nick with Key Issues. Thank you so much for watching, and remember the motto, Omnipotus over everything.